Start your clap, engines. Clap, clap, clap. You know proud of it. Yeah, if you want it all, you can have it. When you living the good life, you living the rough life. Real life. Don't let the pretty face fool you. She can drive. Manage your race and being a mom at the same time. Yeah. Mike Ruck, he a badass. Like your husband, a good dad. Stay lit. The rough life. Real life. Rough life. Rough Hey, hey, everybody. I'm Angela, and beside me is my lovely, lovely hubby. Hi, Mike. How you hey, doing? Hey, everyone. Doing well, doing well. Guys, thanks for tuning into our live podcast. This is our third one. Um, if it's your first time with the Rooks, uh, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we hope everybody is staying safe out there with this craziness. Wow. Uh, what was the total this morning? 16,000 deaths? That's but insane. I don't know if it's, you know, while I was watching that intro, I was seeing my life pass before my eyes, before babies and NASCAR. But uh, it's another world that we're living in right now is uh, super tough. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We've been heartbreaking. We've, we've had some news hit home for for the Rook family. My father, who I told you was ill with pancreatic cancer, now he's got the coronavirus, and my mom is in the hospital as well, getting checked. Um, so, so, but your parents have been sick for what? Your dad's been sick for almost four weeks now, right? Yeah, like, yeah. going on four weeks, and he's been in and out of the hospital, like Mike said. Um, super scary. So we're not really sure you know, how it's come about. Um, it's hard. It's tough that the family's dealing with that. So all my uh, big brothers and sisters are all holding down the fort up in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where mom and dad just moved from Vegas. Yeah, we just yeah, they literally just moved uh, next to Rita and uh, Mike's nephews, Eric and Tyler. Um, so again, we hope everyone's staying safe. So um, big sis has two uh, hospice patients, my godson and my father. And then mom uh is having her issues so i don't know how Rita's doing it uh thank you for the big help um yeah thanks Rita. yeah Rita never surprises us though how about it Rita's, if you know Rita, she's just a really incredible person and she goes non-stop and she cares about everybody for herself and she's only proving that so uh all of our love sending to them i wish we could be there to help you Rita, but unfortunately as we all know, it's uh, safer to stay home these days, and especially with two babies, huh? Yeah, I asked Ange if it, if it hit home more. Like, you know, we've been talking on this podcast about breaking some of the rules, you know, and I don't, wouldn't necessarily say we're breaking the rules, but, you know, we've been a little lax more so than my daughter's. Yeah, it's kind of scary if you then, really put yeah, it into perspective. Yeah, when, you're, when daddy gets it, you know, it's, it starts, you start thinking about it a little different. I think you just believe that it's never going to hit home, right? You always hear about the stories on TV, in the news. It's like, oh, okay, well, you keep running and meeting up with people. Um, but guys, it's real. Like, it's serious. We do, in the end, need to stay home and really think about the places and the people that we're seeing in all honesty. Well, I was taking a stock in uh, everything we were doing, and the only the only piece of the stock that I couldn't make um, sense for our social distance was sweetness, because I think he's taking time. To <laughs> if you've been tuning into Mike and Sweetness's podcast, they are once a week. Um. <laughs> yeah, we let sweetness sit next to me, and we, you know, the producer uh, Jason, who's on the call today. Hey, Jay. Hi, Jay. How are hey, you? Guys. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for tuning in and joining us. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we saw so time. Jason about sweetness and the social distancing, and we argued about it, but um, we felt that, you know, he was like my little wife. And if I could have Angela next to him, I could have a little sweetness. So I went out and a little buddy came on set. <laughs> oh, sweetness is always a good time, isn't he? Oh, yeah. So he is, but he better be being smart or he won't be coming around, honey. You still got all five of those kids there? I do. All five kids. There's obviously between my wife and I, we have seven people in this house. I uh, can't go anywhere. And digital learning is not fun, I think, for any parent. I think that hard. Oh my gosh, it's miserable. That's you hard. know, because the kids don't really want to do it, right? They're home. It kind of feels like they shouldn't be. So forcing them to do work is is pretty uh pretty bad. Yeah, we're gonna hire all that out. Oh. <laughs> I would like to think I'll be good at it as the kids get a little bit older. Like, you know, as you know, we're looking at this at this house. So we put an offer in, and everything's slowly going our way. Uh, fingers crossed that it does in the next few weeks. But I told Mike there's like this big upstairs room. I'm like, they have these two tables and chairs. It's beautiful, all built in. I'm like, maybe we'll homeschool. 
Maybe yeah. that's a possibility. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I could do it, but I would maybe like to try. <laughs> Angela just started perfecting <laughs> top ramen. I don't think she could shape okay, the future of, all, of the mind. Of first of all, guys, I did not say cooking class. Okay. I said just oh, cooking. Okay. Why? I mean, okay, when you homeschool, real. do you bring somebody into homeschool, sweetheart, or do you do this homeschooling yourself? Probably, probably me and somebody else. Like somebody, like like a, a nanny, like a nanny. <laughs> so you don't think they need oh, to be in the new rules? I and think. The new... Well, I think they would be. And yeah. and why? Like, just a little. Let's back up. Why? Why do you want to homeschool them versus send them to a private school if you want? Or but no, I why? mean, I'm probably gonna do that. We're probably gonna do that as well. But I'm just saying, like. It just looked inviting, like this bedroom, like this room Wait. that had these built in everything. I was like, maybe we do. It's a well, nanny that actually brought it up that she's like, Andrew, why don't you homeschool? I'm like, that's a good idea. Could will I you do start, it? Start the kids out on an abacus or? <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, I'm telling you from experience. <laughs> I love, I love my kids, love them, but I look forward to them going to school. I'll just say that. No, man. I mean, I, I had these kids. I think I talked about it last time. I had these kids, you know, all in and make me young. I never thought I'd be trapped with them for 24, <laughs> seven, six days, six, you know, six weeks. Who are you referring to? King and Lord. Oh, I thought you were referring to the older ones. Trapped. trapped. You're not trapped. You're a happy father. Come on. Yeah. I hate when you say that. I hate the word trapped, by the way. You're not trapped. Like you choose to be here. Angela's, if you don't, you know where the door is. Angela's decided since all my businesses are practically shut down and I have not been working as hard that I need to participate more with the babies. So I've changed. He still has yet to get up at night, though. Do not lie. Do not lie. No. He, but, last night you told me he was going to do duty with Lord because we, you know, occasionally send the, the I nanny did home. Say that. I did. So say I was that. like, OK, he's like, Angela, he's like, tonight I'm going to take over. And I'm like, well, which one do you want to which one do you want to wake up with every for every couple hours he's like oh, i pick lord i said a good pick because she's been sleeping longer than king has king's been still getting up five six times a night where lord's sleeping and only getting up like two to three times so i'm like that's a good pick that makes sense and then of course as the night got later he's like i'm not doing it yeah. i said i figured you were yeah, I I was, was, up me. she put me on this new diet jay that's got me low energy lethargic you know so i didn't want to you know risk not being present he needed his beauty sleep for lord i Are got you it Am I what? Are you on a diet? Uh, yeah, Mike's got me on this on his podcast. You know that get rook thing, that male excel. Like you know, that helps with the. Uh, I just started. Literally, just took the test and just getting well, started. We're gonna have more energy here shortly. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, we're all cool now. Gonna but... well, I've been on it five days now. I've been taking testosterone. I, Do you I feel, feel the energy? Like... Oh yeah. Do you? Oh yeah. Yeah. And I, I, you know, Angel's like, I didn't get with an older guy to be with a 21 year old. Oh boy, so, here we go. <laughs> so well, she's hey, already put that crazy. down. What, well, one thing I'm really excited for on today's podcast is, Angel, we got your friend on it, don't we, Lynn? Yes, exactly. We have my my bestie on her name is Natalie Decker joining us in just a little bit I'm super excited to kind of tune in and see what she's been up to during this uh crazy coronavirus yeah, great, she, great she, girl she, great family great race car driver yeah, we, we love got her. to spend uh, time around Christmas with their family over our condo it was a lot of fun you see some of those videos she does on YouTube with her and her boyfriend they're pretty I love funny. it I love it I yeah. Mike I always ask him, I always show Mike a little clip of him like do you think you could do this he's like no not a chance I'm like well, oh yeah the so yoga part right yeah, the yoga and, and there's no no way, no way, Jose. For, well, for Mike, I I think Derek is in a different boat than I am right now. You know what's that boat? Well, more flexible. I, well, I think Derek's Skinny in mini? a position where he's he's dating a girl that's hotter than him, and I I think for me, <laughs> I'll know, I've, always, I've always married down, so I don't feel the oh, pressure. Here we go. To, Whatever. to do these silly videos that Derek obviously has to do. You know, so as we um, all know, Mike has outkicked his coverage. Yeah, Mike has definitely outkicked his coverage, Ange. I agree. But yeah, we. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I, I'm not gonna... Natalie and, uh, uh, You're cutting Jason off. What is sorry, Jason saying? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I was just saying. I, I'll admit, I, I outkicked my coverage as well, too. So. Yeah, but I. Need I we say more, boys. One, one thing I would say to every woman: one of the first things I learned at a bar, I was 19 years old, and I was in this dive bar in college, and above the urinal. <laughs> As I was having a down day about this girl I was dating, and above the urinal, it says, no matter how hot that girl is, there's some dude that's tired of that. You know, so I, I think, you know, yes, we might have out kicked our coverages, but I definitely think they're they're winning. <laughs> All right. You don't, th you don't think you guys are winning? <laughs> I'm confused about this. I do. Hey, Ange, that drink's a party good. What? 
I said that drink looks pretty good. I'm jealous. What's in it? Oh my gosh, Jason. So I wanted to share with everybody. This is a fabulous pickle martini, Jay. And my recipe will be, I'm going to do a live video tomorrow. Um, but it's a pickle martini. If you love dirty martinis, pickle martini is very similar. It's very simple. It's very clean. It's light and it's refreshing. So, I mean, mm -hmm. You know, like a lot of my it's buddies phenomenal if you love are asking me if Angela to stop drinking since I'm not drinking right now. And uh, I said, you know, I'm not like one of those typical drinkers that if I'm not drinking, nobody else can drink. I've been shoving the alcohol down Angela's throat every night. <laughs> well, but are you drinking? That's the question. Is my boy uh, said, listen, how about it, babe? As you always said, like when I first met you, is his past wives never used to drink with him ever. And so that was always a pet peeve of his. He's like, he wants a girl that drinks. Well, when I first met him and we were hanging out, I wasn't a big drinker. Not saying I am today. How about it? Yes, yeah, so I but. told Angela I was a little concerned. I said, you know, if I get into a third marriage and you're not going to drink and judge me all, all day, every day with your mom, you know, this ain't going to work out. And Angela turned to the bartender and said, I'll take two shots of tequila. <laughs> so, I mean, we were in and, and this degenerate wife was born that day. And so uh -huh. today, yeah, all started. I'm drinking a pickle martini, but I still love my champagne. But, you know, Mike and I, like Mike was saying, is I have Mike on the strict diet, as we were talking about last week on the, on the show. It's um, just trying to eat better, no drinking for Mike, but I will have a few cocktails, but I'm cutting back as well to help him, of course. You know, one, since my and father is back on for you, since my father's in the bed, I just want to remind, I did have a thought in, in out of respect to my mom. My dad told me when my second marriage broke down that you need to marry a nymphomaniac alcoholic. <laughs> and I'm like, well, you and mom been together a long time. He goes, yeah, look at her. She's leaning up against the wall because she's. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, and, oh, you what's say it? That, though? Like, yeah. gives me a little bit of creeps, man. Like, gives me goosebumps. Why did... Come on. That's... You really shouldn't be talking about that, should you? No, no, but you got me. I'm all delirious. No, I'm, no I'm, he shouldn't. And I'm eating, I'm eating cardboard. You guys. So, uh, yeah. So, I have Mike on this very strict diet. He's eating better um, and we're working out daily together, which has kind of been fun. We're going for long walks. Um, working out. What, what kind of working out are you well, doing? Well, let's get into it, guys. So lately, his new thing is he is running steps. Well, no, it's a, it's an after a, a big, high-quality workout that I do. And then I, I run the steps. And it's, you know, I'm getting there. Slowly, guys, slowly. I'm not sure what step he's on, what floor he's hit. <laughs> Last week was floor eight or nine? Nine? I got to level 11 two days ago, and then today I got to nine. So, do you feel good about uh, that? Well, progress? I took a little step back because Angela was abusing me and trying to be my life coach in the in the hallway, and uh, she just brings me down. I mean, that's why, like on my podcast, she's not allowed. You know, she, <laughs> she breaks me down. She actually tells me she's going to build me back up, but right now I just feel so vulnerable. So, how how's the workout going, Mike? Well, you know, I did, I put two pounds on, uh, I'm not happy about that, but I, I kind of know where the mistakes were had. Um, and I, I'm going to, and he wakes up every new day guys with something more positive. Like, Oh yeah. Day. No, I get in the tub and I, I you know, yeah. I got a string of movies I watch. I, you know, I watch Rocky invincible, all these great movies get me excited. And then, you know, of course, Angela, when I'm having a good moment, she has to tell me I'm fat. You know? <laughs> I don't see her fat. I just, I think we both so, take each other in the mirror, like, hey, when's it starting? You just or, hey, told when's me it I, stopping? You, you told like, me today I was them. thread challenged. I mean, because my butt. So the weight out. thing's not really working so far. Not the exactly. stairs isn't working. Exactly. Well, but I mean, I'm only. It, 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 didn't you say there's shakes and stuff too? You're trying to get them on shakes. Share with everybody. Yeah, I can't wait to to show everybody what we've been yeah, doing and eating Angela's and drinking. Planning on making yeah. them for everybody today. So I'm gonna you try can see the, the, the sheer. So that's part of, that's kind of like I'm cooking, I guess. After right? I run the steps, this is what she feeds me. This is true. Well, I think there's video, right? There's video of you running the steps we can play. Yeah. Well, let's play. All right, let's play that. And then we'll you guys can get set up for the shake. Yeah, we'll yeah, meet you in the kitchen, Jay. All right. All right. Oh boy. Mikey in the Just stairs. Watching you work out. How do you feel? What floor number are you on? Uh, yeah, he's out of go. breath already. There's no way anybody will do it, baby. Oh my gosh, right, she's right. out of breath. There he goes. <laughs> All right, guys, you yeah. ready? Show us the shake. I hope it's not too messy for you guys. So this is what Mike and I are dealing with for 21 days straight. A 21 day cleanse. Yes, a 21 day cleanse. Shoot me. So we are literally eating. How about it? For breakfast, lunch, and dinner snacks. 
peppers, onions, carrots. I don't even know what to do with these things, but you she find blends them. This is my reward for running stuff. Avocados. Who doesn't love yummy avocados? One of my favorite sweet potatoes. It's so so for me. But this cleanse we take twice a day, just as like smoothie, and then we can eat as much vegetables and fruits all day long. So now we're gonna make this quick little smoothie for you. Do you want to throw these in? We have it's strawberries really and blueberries. Here, I'll just do it. Cause you know how the husbands are in the kitchen; they'll make a mess. Let's Things are falling. One. They make us put these these pills in here. These, these pills. Uh, what are they, honey? They're a vitamin. So vitamins. we need daily supplements of vitamins. Our whey protein powder, and this is also uh, this is fiber. Like, this is fiber. Yeah. What's well, fiber do? Fiber gives you nice fluffies in the morning. Oh, look, yes. Yeah, when I'm drinking, it's kind of worth it. And we can't forget the water, obviously. It's all measured out. So it's a cup each, so it's easy and simple. The more ice, the thicker, the better. The icier, the more fluid the cocktail. I will say it does go in like cardboard, but comes out kind of nice. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that sounds like a, that sounds nice. <laughs> it's pretty. There you go, So, just, guys, and just in that's it. going live with Natalie Decker. You guys need to tune in. Super excited. Pace truck is off. Ready, set, go! But I had so much emotions going on when I was out there. Excitement, nervousness, not really sure what the heck I was doing, not sure if I deserved to be out there. Um, didn't want to make a mistake, I didn't want to let people down. But wow, did I pull through. Eyes wide open, seeing things she's never seen before here at Daytona. And let's remember, husband Mike down on pit road, watching all this. That's it. Yeah. Next thing you know, she's moving up the pack. Going 220 mile an hour around turns. Man, I'm like, man, I got a bad chick. <laughs> and next thing you know, he's got a hotline. She's running to the top. She's fifth place. Oh, big crash. Like bottom 13. Literally one foot from her bumper, the whole field gets in a wreck. I mean, just carnage. The 11 drivers involved this incident. And she slips through it all. I'm not even thinking about money at this point. I'm thinking about winning. Angela Rock brings them down leading this race. She moved up the entire pack and she's winning Daytona. How about our leader right here? Angela Rock has driven to the front, doing a great job. She was in the top five or six when that incident happened. She didn't inherit this lead. She was up there. But to actually be there and to be like top five and also leading the race, it's pretty spectacular. The first woman in the history of the sport to do it. And it's Angela. Angela Rook. Wow, I do remember that that eighth place at the time that was the uh, highest placing finish by a female until just this year, right, Ange? Oh my gosh, right? Congratulations to Natalie on that. I don't think I really got to talk to her about that. That was an amazing finish for her, um, a dream come true. As I'm sure I kind of lived it last year at Daytona. Um, yeah, pretty pretty rewarding and amazing. I thought Natalie was going to win it. We, we we were losing our minds watching her, rooting hard. I think it's just that feeling that you get, like, being in that position and not really knowing what's going to happen. Uh, everything's going so fast around you. And you you in the end, you believe that it's not you, but it is. You really got to pinch yourself. So it's pretty it's pretty cool. I can't wait to uh, kind of hear from Natalie and see how everything's coming along for her. Yeah, let's check in with Natalie. Hi. Hey, girl. How are you? Good. <laughs> You look awesome. Oh, you look good. All of you, but mostly Angela. <laughs> Thanks, Natalie. So what are you and Derek doing to stay busy besides this fabulous YouTube channel you, have, you guys have going on? What are you, how are you guys feeling your day? Well, it's really difficult because we're so used to being busy and you know how that is like living a busy life and then sitting down and slowing down. It's so different. Um, but it does feel good to, you know, relax and spend time together and not travel so much, but we really have been doing really not too many things. Just YouTube, like all those videos you've been seeing. Um, we're we've been playing with our dog Cash a lot and taking him to We have the both park. in common, huh? We both have yes. two dogs. Cash, how about yes. that, baby? Well, I'm just wondering, is there some things that, that he's been annoying you with that now that you've been so isolated together? You know, I don't think so. I think I get more annoyed when we travel together than when we're sitting at home together. I would have to say opposite for you and I, honey. Yeah, no, no, I'm highly annoyed <laughs> both when we're traveling and when we're home together. <laughs> Natalie. That's not true, babe. Come on. Hey, Natalie, hey, have you guys seen these these videos with Derek and Natalie? I think, uh, Mike, you should try and do some of these yoga things. I would love to see you try it. <laughs> okay, now I'll insert it for you to see. Look at Derek's face. Okay. Oh, wow. He's <laughs> like, how is this going to happen? Just lay on your back. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Just lay on your back. 
You know what I always <laughs> like about Derek? Every time I see him, he's so so quiet. But then when he gets in front of the camera, it's a whole nother guy. This is gonna be an interesting <laughs> move, Derek. I I love that he's quiet because then I can talk more. <laughs> That's true. Good point. Good point. Watch the move, Mike, because I want a video of you and trying to complete this. Next podcast, we're gonna use this video, okay? We didn't get it right away. Wow. It took us a few tries. Oh, okay. Where, where does the dog come in? <laughs> he just he loves being a part of everything. <laughs> I love it. Oh. All right, here it comes. Maybe. Wait wow. for there it. You go. There you wow. go. Wow. Do you think wow. you can do that? No, 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 no. Mike can barely make it up the steps, guys. Well, I think for for us, you know, she can set on my belly a lot easier, so she doesn't have to be so. Uh, <laughs> I got to go for the home. That's the problem. Yeah. And we do not say. So Natalie, Phyllis in at Daytona. I was telling Angie, like, I, I love yelling at my wife about how she performs. And for one day, you know, we were on top of the world and we actually thought we had a shot. You know, what was going through your mind with five to go? And you're like, I mean, what were you restarting in fifth or eighth or something? I, I don't even remember where we restarted, to be honest. But it was so amazing. Good, right? and the whole race, we stayed like in the second or third pack, just hanging out. We didn't want to be, get caught up in any other wrecks. So that was my team's plan. And it really worked out. But it was so boring being back there. And I was like, I just want to be up front racing. And, and you know, like any driver, you want to be up front and you want to do your best. But we had to like hold back just so we didn't get caught up in any of the crazy wrecks. And it was so worth it. The last two laps during that restart was the most fun I've ever had in a race car. Raising up vision, front like that. Did you vision yourself going right to the front or are we just kind of waiting for things to happen and then you're going to make the move towards the end? Like, is that kind of what your plan was the whole race between you and Cody? Yeah, it was definitely just waiting and really trusting my team because I know they've done it a lot longer than I have and my spotter has been to way more Daytona races than I've been to. So I knew he really knew what he was talking about. So when he said we're going to hang out in the back and then when the, there's like a green, white checkered or five to go, he said that's when we will – race our way up in the front. Other than that, we always would come down pit road or do some kind of strategy to make sure we start in the back. And I'm really glad I listened to him. At one point, I got a little impatient and I started racing and trying to make some moves. And he was like, Natalie, please stop. You're going to regret this. Just stay calm and get in that second pack. So I think it really worked out. I'm glad I listened to him. Yeah. At one point <laughs> on those last three laps, were you like, holy crap, I can win this. Coming, one. okay, getting the white flag on the back straight away. Going into turn three, I was just like, oh, my God, this is going to be a top ten. Like, it, I can totally see it laying out. No one was doing anything too stupid to wreck the whole field or anything like that. Like, everyone was in line being really good, and I just could see it and visualize it that we were going to have a really good finish. And when I crossed the line, my spotter is like, congratulations, that's definitely a top ten. And not until, like, a few seconds later, we knew exactly where I finished. And then they came back on the radio and told me I finished fifth. And I was like, this is so crazy. And I was just so happy to have like those two laps up front like that and racing with all those guys, especially at Daytona. And it was just really amazing. And then when I was getting interviewed at the end um, of the night, so someone, um, a girl interviewing me for like a radio, she was like, did you know you made history? And I was like, doing what? Like, I had no idea. That's the <laughs> I had best. absolutely no idea. She had to like kind of fill me in. Angela was holding my arm the whole time when with those two to go. She's like, she's up there. She's up there. I know. I was uh, uh, every was time I watch. Video. Every time I watch your um, show with you at Daytona, I still like my hands get sweaty, even though I know how the finish happens. I'm just like, it's I get nervous even rewatching it for you. <laughs> I was just to say the same thing. It's like you're nervous watching it, and just like you just describing what you went through to know that I was there last year, like. You get anxious, right? It's just like, it's yeah. something we've, I think I'm speaking for you too. It's something that we've always dreamed about since we were little girls doing it our whole life is racing. Um, it just, those, that nervousness and that feeling never goes away when you've accomplished it. I don't know how to relate because I'm not an athlete, <laughs> Natalie, but I think of my marriage very similar. I mean, I kind of know how this thing's going to end. <laughs> I've been holding on, getting a little clammy. And... <laughs> Natalie, how many races are you running for Nice this year? So, well, we're planned to do 10 races at the beginning of the year, but now with how this coronavirus and quarantine is going, I'm really not exactly sure. We're just waiting to find out exactly what NASCAR is going to do with their schedule and then as well as what my sponsors want to do for the remainder of the season. But 
Um, I'm assuming um, if everything goes to plan, we'll still be able to finish out the same races that we wanted to do with hopefully adding more. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, and this is kind of for Ange and Natalie, I guess. Like, you guys are good friends. I see you guys talking all the time. But how competitive are you? Are Like, w when you two are on the track, do you know where each other is? Like, are you like, oh, Ange is here. I need to beat that. Or Natalie, Sarah, I need to get that. Like, how competitive are the two of you between each other? I mean you have I don't know. Sorry. It's it's different. Um, it is different competing against a girl. Obviously, I feel like girls are more competitive against each other no matter what sport they are. But like I really always want Angela to do her best and I'm like so look up to her. So like I, I don't feel like I'm like, oh, I need to be Angela. I just feel like I need to do my best and that's you know, do the best I can in that race and in that moment. Um, so I'm never like, oh, where is she? I want, I want to beat her. I'm more like, where is she? She better be doing good. <laughs> I kind of think that's the same thing for me. It's like, but I also feel like at the same time, it's like when you put the helmet on, it's all seriousness, right? So we're all yeah. like getting down to business. Um, that's what we're all there to do is to, in the end, we all want to win. Uh, but knowing that Natalie and I have that love for each other and that respect, like I love seeing her do well. Um, but in the end, I think we both want to finish the race. You, well, know? you like, know, let's just be yeah, real. Exactly. Natalie, Tom Brady's son, his favorite quarterback is Peyton Manning. I just want to let you know in this household, my favorite driver is Natalie Decker. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh sure. Yeah, and Derek's is Angela. <laughs> there you go. Good no, I think, I think everybody know that our relationship with Natalie is amazing. Like, we, you know, Natalie, we love you. We love your family. We loved having you over for Christmas and getting to know you guys. It's super cool. Like, it's how it should be, you know? You know, Natalie, I've been dishing on NASCAR secrets, and I've been wanting to ask you. I always see Chuck roaming around with a cup, and I know there's oh, like, oh, what's in that cup. Do you organize that for him at the track or or <laughs> does the team do that? Because I'm trying to sort my situation out. If it's I Andrew, think he organizes that himself. Uh, I really believe yeah. that's all him. That's a Mikey thing. sounds jealous. Yeah. I think that's well, why Chuck's Mike and, got it figured out. I think that's why Mike and Chuck get along so well. It's because they're both doing the same thing. Well, we both How got oh, yeah. we, we both got that steady tan year round. Whatever. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Chuck is uh, Natalie's dad, who's a big part of uh, her career and is is always with her, just for the people that don't know. You're such a nut, babe. <laughs> Where would your next race be? Would it be trucks or would are you, uh, you're running some other stuff too, right? Yeah, we're also running in the Trans Am series. I'm doing a GT4, so that'll be my first time really running in that class. Um, but with the same team that I've done road races in the past with, it's Ave Motorsports. And they just released their schedule. I couldn't tell you exactly what date it is. I believe it starts in July, um, but I'm not sure exactly. We'll see what NASCAR comes up with with their schedule. But I'm I'm thinking it might be one of the road races will be my next my next race. Ooh, so which do you prefer better? If you had to choose one, Natalie. Oval, oval, a hundred percent. It's yeah, I'm with I you. I feel it's more racy. It's more fun. And if you miss your mark in one lap in an oval race. The next lap, it's easy to make up time and it's easy to fix the next lap. But with road racing, it takes like a minute to get around the whole track. If you miss your one mark, you know, in one lap, it screws up the whole lap for like a minute and a half. And you're like, oh my gosh, this sucks. Yeah, no, I totally get it. Hey, by the way, I saw you posted, I don't know if it was a video or a picture, I can't remember, but did you get a new sim? A new sim? Simulator? We've had the sim for a while. Um, I've never really liked going on it because my I have a TV instead of a computer monitor. And Travis Braden and I raced Arca with him. They have their sim here as well. And he has a, a monitor, like a computer monitor. And I tried his sim out and I love it way more. So now I'm starting to get more into iRacing and all that stuff. And I'm How actually really enjoying it. it race each other. Are you good at yeah. it? Yeah. Getting back. I keep asking Ange, all these people keep tweeting, you know, why are you girls not on it? And Ange says she's working on it. But are you able to race in it? Um, I don't, I don't know. I've been invited to do some races, but I truthfully don't have an account and I've only ever, um, practiced under my boyfriend's account, which apparently is against like some rules in iRacing. Everyone's like, I'm going to report you, but I'm like, okay. I need to make an account. <laughs> yeah, you do. You definitely need to. Cause uh, you got to get laps in and run races. So what I've heard. Yeah. Cause I usually just run yeah. by myself. Like I log laps, I mean, a couple of buddies will get on the couple like engineers. They'll teach me some stuff. I'll do it. And that's how I've been practicing, but it's hard to get in on these truck series in the Xfinity without having time on the track itself with actual racing. So that's, and it is so different. Everyone thinks it's very similar. 
um, that really might not be in NASCAR or race a real car. They really feel and believe it's very similar. And I really don't think it's truthfully that similar, but it really does help when you're trying to like learn a track or learn your marks or I understand how pit road is, but it's really not going to make you go to that track and unload and be fast. At least it hasn't really helped me with that, but and some I people really love it and say it works. And then there's the other half that says, you know, it's just for fun. Yeah, I'm kind of the same boat. I think the same thing. It's like, a, it, it's great to mentally prepare yourself for the track itself and like the corners and the, and the bumps and all that and pit road and all that. Uh, but as far as like, now, is I don't there, know if it's just that we don't like video games. I don't know what it is. Well, is there haves and haves not? Like, does Denning Hamlin have a quarter million dollar sim? And oh, I'm sure he does. They, they showed a video of Denny. In his simulator, it yeah, like moves and stuff. Yeah, though, but, it's, but his is definitely a little higher end. Yeah, you need to step it up. Well, we <laughs> oh, got, buy got, me something bigger and better. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's Derek, I want a better sim. <laughs> there you go. Come on, Derek. Come on, boys. Natalie, I got a question for you. Chuck and I talked about this a little bit one time. Like when when people get give you heat for your driving or being a blonde or being a woman, like who in your side, who in your team loses their mind, like? You know, on our end, I lose my mind, and then I have to get it off my chest. Like, who who over there is just pulling their hair out and just wanting to beat some ass? You know, it hasn't happened often, but I've seen my mom lose her mind one time, but they came at her, so I, that's why I think she lost her mind and was like, that's not me. <laughs> like, you don't even know me. Why are you saying that about me? Um, but no one really, like Derek, he, like, kind of laughs at it. He's like, that's funny. <laughs> So, and like, I've learned to laugh at all the, the haters and stuff because it is really kind of fun to like read the comments that they come up with. It's like, you don't even know me or you don't even know Angela or half the other drivers you're talking about. Like, it's not our responsibility to make, us- to make them think, you know, good things well, about us. <laughs> I think it was better and stronger in the end, though. They call like, me all the fat. <laughs> I mean, that's why he's on a diet. Yeah, now. well, I mean, I, it really hit me hard. I just, you know, Whatever. he doesn't care. Take, take all my insecurities, yeah, put them right. out there. For Nothing can take your insecurities, that. baby. Come on, seriously. No, I'm so, he cut me off now. Mm-hmm. Awkward silence. No, um, so no, thank you, thank you so much, Nelly, for joining us. We've had so much fun getting to know you. We love your family so much. And uh, we love you. you. Thank you. One of our stops. We need you to like come over and hang out or we'll meet somewhere and uh, do six feet. Know. Stay six feet apart. Oh, wait. I miss your babies. I want to see them on the quarantine yeah, list. They're, they're getting so big. It's crazy. I know. Five steps. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's oh, my crazy. God. Yeah. And um, Lord is five months old now and she's like rolling over and she's calmed down a lot, which has been really, really enjoyable oh, for us. But yeah, so life is better over here, and the kids are amazing. And we're buying a house, so that's new. So that's really exciting. I thought I saw something like that on your Instagram, but I wasn't sure if it yeah. was for you yeah. or for your business or what you were doing. So that's so amazing. Yeah. That makes hopefully, me happy. Hopefully, all goes well, and you can come over and uh, join us in some cocktails over there, and we can um, catch up on real life stuff. How about it, babe? Well, you know, like in this environment, you know, the whole world is crashing, and we're going and buying houses. Yes. <laughs> It should work out. My my thing was being on. You fight about this. I don't even know why you bring that up. Well, I, I need a place to you know fish and stuff like that. I'm more worried we're all going to be hunting and gathering here. Like what are month. you going to hunt and gather? I would love. To know. Do you fish even? No, no, no he no. doesn't do anything. That's what I thought. One percent fishing is my. Well, is me. be honest with you, I'm addicted to yellow Yeti coolers, and my course light will get down in the bottom corner. I really got to get in there and fish it out. But that's so that's fishing for you. All right. <laughs> Adventure hunter gather anybody over there in your house, Natalie? Oh hell yeah, Derek does. I know he does. Yeah. Well. Um, he did when he was younger. Ever since we moved here, not so much. But we're from the Midwest, so fishing and hunting's like very normal, and everyone does it. I, I do have it. it. I could not kill a deer, but yeah, I, fi- okay. I fish with my grandpa a lot. So when no, I go home, I no, like to fish if with them. Driving down the road, and he hits, you know, a a furry thing. Will he like throw it on the hood and bring it home and? No, but funny story. We went and got pizza late at night from a restaurant down the road from my house in Eagle River. We were driving home 
and a deer ran out and he didn't like want to hit the brakes really hard because he was worried about the pizza and he hit the deer just barely hit it and he's like oh natalie don't worry like he's fine i barely hit him like he's still running he's okay i'm like no turn around i want to see so we drive and we turn around and the deer was laying in the ditch and it ruined so my cool. day i was like no, no. The deer <laughs> now he wasn't uh, eating the pizza slice while he was checking on the deer now was he <laughs> He probably was. <laughs> That's so funny. That's I want to get Chuck on this show next. We're gonna we're gonna talk. Yes, about you gotta get down. Doing during this coronavirus, are they staying safe and staying quarantined? Back in, their in home? Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, they went back to Wisconsin right before the quarantine started. Um, but as soon as it lifts, they want to come back out to North Carolina with their motor home. And yeah, we definitely all need to get together at your new place. Yeah. See, honey. Come How on about up it? and bring your cash. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> How is your puppy? Is your puppy well? He's good. He's so big now. Um, and he's like kind of calming down a little bit now that he's um over a year old, but he's still very hyper and puppy like. I love puppies. Oh. Well, we will we we've accept your yoga challenge and we'll see you in <laughs> yoga challenge. Hey, there's there's one more pose, uh, Mike, that I want to see if you and Ange can do that Natalie is a little excited. Yes, I was there hoping you were you gonna show that one. <laughs> wow. How did you up like that? Oh, we got to watch the video. It was a challenge. I think I hurt Derek. A little smooch think... <laughs> there at the end of it. Come on, Mike. I, I sit on your feet, honey. Well, I, I think I think Derek's been doing some of his own yoga because I just don't think I can get in that pose. I don't think you should go like <laughs> I mean, like, uh, with, if you keep drinking those martinis, we're going to do the downward dog. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, it's, I didn't even drink the martini. That's like just sitting there. What are you talking about? Oh, sorry. Maybe I should drink the martini and we could do whatever that was. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, Natalie, thank you very, very much. Natalie, we love you. Thank you so much for being on our podcast. Yeah, we. I love you and thank you so much. And my family misses you. So I soon know. we'll get together. Thank you for having me. Yes, most definitely anytime. And we'll see you at the racetrack. Yes, see you at the racetrack. Okay. Bye, girl. Bye. I love her. Uh, she's cool. Cool girl. She's like the most down to earth person I've ever met. She's um, my favorite driver. Is she your favorite driver? Oh boy, come oh, on. Good hope. She is not your favorite driver. Uh, am I not your favorite driver, honey? Why, you didn't man? even watch racing. If it wasn't for me. Be careful with your answer. Your quarantine. Nowhere to go. Second favorite driver. But I'm your first. Yes. You say I'm yes. Your first, yes. Natalie. Yeah. That's I, 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 I'll, I'll text Nat. You know, it's so funny as you could, Natalie could be your first like favorite driver. It doesn't even bother me because I love her. Like she is such a daring person, and she works hard, and she's just young you and know, cute. And uh, she I told it. us that story about how she was hustling uh, sponsorship, knocking on doors. You mm -hmm. know, uh, why don't you do that, baby? Like why why wouldn't you go door to door and try to raise some cash for this family? Maybe put like a lemonade stand out. I think people go out of different ways. I think people go out of different ways, honey. Honestly, because we have. And Ange, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you just knock on Mike's head. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to pound him in his head, Jason. Uh, Mikey, you got it right. <laughs> yeah, dear, honey. See no, this? no, but it, 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 you know, Natalie, your family, they're great. We wish them the best of luck. I, I root for them, and they're great folks. And uh, this. They yes, uh, we are doing this. I am getting a picture of this from you too. The only thing I would say for, for <laughs> Natalie, since she's she's holding up her end of the bargain, but I think Derek needs to. A it tan. looks like he's straining a little well, bit. Well, he needs that a tan on the left. You know, I mean, just a spray tan, maybe, huh? Well, I don't know if he's a Wisconsin boy or not, but now that he's down in North Carolina, he's got to either start drinking and get this good red glow that I have, or he needs a you know a spray tan. Spray tan. I'll just say spray tan is fine, yeah. honey. All right. They're not big drinkers, babe. <laughs> All right. What do you say we get to some fan questions? Fans oh, have been yeah. waiting patiently. Messy hair. Man. All right. What do you say? Can we do that? Let's yeah, do let's it. Bring them. All right. Let's do it. Let's see who we got here. Fan I'm having a sip question. of this cocktail. Honey, Sorry. what color are my eyes? Blue. Go, Gage Man. Hey, Angela Rook, are you planning on racing the NASCAR Pro Invitational Series on iRacing? I am. I just got an email on it, and I will be invited here shortly. So I'm waiting on that invite, and I will be in and ready. Oh, see, I didn't even know that. They, well, they're just... yeah. well, Jason, you're logged into my DMs on Instagram. Why aren't you reading it? Oh, I didn't. I so I, I tagged them in a couple things, hoping they would reach out. So that's good. That's Tom Fox, who, yeah, that should be them. Actually, oh. I'm playing it right now because I, I think that's who I was talking to. Cheryl Ann is asking, how are the babies doing, Angela? Oh, Cheryl Ann, thank you for tuning in and watching. The babies are doing good. How about it, baby? 
yeah, they're yeah, getting big. They're growing fast. King is walking more and more every day. Yeah, King's walking. Lord had, had her first solid poo. Um, which you know, which no, it's no lie. Like so, she has had massive diarrhea. As we were seeing a GI mm -hmm. specialist, like she was having anywhere from four to eight doo doos a day, and not pretty ones. And you know, when they're young like that, they should be having quite solid ones. So that was a big. Are they ever well, I mean, they were, you know, she's weaning off drugs off of, you know, off methadone. So I could never quite figure out her diet and what she was needing or what we were missing. Uh, so she has been eating a tremendous amount of baby food and it has been helping her. And we have like gone very less on the bottles and she's doing really, really well. So a first hard, solid. Poo yeah, food. I take all the hard. Daddy changed the it. hard poos. And then uh, the ones that are we have to wipe their ankle, I get to handle. That's which is all of them, yeah, <laughs> especially much. for King as big as he's getting. Cheryl also wanted to know how old is Natalie? Do you know? I don't know. How old is she? I, I want to say Natalie is 22. 22. That's I just say 22. Guess. Yeah. Guess 22. Yeah. Um, Our girl, Emily. Uh, Hi, Em. I yeah, don't, well, do no, they canceled it. There's the second one in the in the fall. Um, we actually were to build a gym down there um, for Eric's. Give a child uh, a voice. Give a child a voice. But even that is, we we don't even know where that where we're heading with that. But we were planning on being in Texas before it got canceled for the um, not ribbon cutting, but for the intro of the gym and then the race. And so we, we're sorting it all out. Yeah. So TBD. I was gonna say yeah. Here's a good one for you. How's oh. Uncle Mike handling the quarantine? He's not. No. <laughs> Tyler J, you just saw his diet. I hope you watched it. Yeah, it's my brutal. activities, you know, like when you start getting in slug mode, you you really want to just you keep your activities at a minimum. You know, I don't want to expend any extra energy in case I have to make this uh, wine and um, food last longer. You know, so I try not to burn calories, but I do get up for, for four minutes of cuddling every day with Angela, you know, to start my day. Just four minutes. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, I got to conserve oh. all my energy. Oh, when are we buying a place in Miami? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Can we just talk about that? My uh, my trainer, Gabby, from the One Hotel sent me a picture, I don't know, two days ago. And it was when we first bought our penthouse there at the One Hotel. And she's like, Angela, I remember this day. I said, it was yesterday. And I have, was like reminiscing, like when we bought our place there. And then we just sold it last August. We're going on two years, honey. That we Right? Is it two years? No, no. no one no, year. I'm sorry, it, one year. We sold it a year ago. You know, I needed some, some money for a business I was going to buy. And something had to go. Um and uh, we were thinking about trading Connor in on uh, the business, but they didn't see any value in them. I was hoping for it, but it didn't work out. Yeah. So <laughs> no, big, but in all big, C, big C stayed, and uh, we lost the penthouse in Miami. But hopefully sooner than later, we'll get another place. Are you guys working out together to keep Mike motivated? What are you doing to keep me motivated, baby? Sarah, yes, yes, and yes to all of that, because we have not left each other's side for like two seconds, like literally since we've been on this quarantine, we have been together, locked in together, traveling together in the same car for going out to the store. We literally have done every single thing you think of together. That's the first time in a long time. How about it? So, so, yes. so to answer your question, Sarah, she is not motivating me to work <laughs> out because we're together nonstop what are you all day, about? Sarah, every day, every second up. we breathe the same air. We get up every day. We get ready. He takes a long tubby, about a two-hour tubby in the mornings between 4 and 5 in the morning. Gets out of the tub around 8, depending on what time he's in there. And then we go to the – yes, we hit a workout together. You know what? I don't know, Jason, if this is good for you, but, like, Monday mornings is always, like, my get up, get after it. You know, and I found myself this Monday, instead of waking up at 5 and having my two-hour tubby and starting my day, I, I woke up at, like, 7. I went into my tub. I was all disoriented. And, and two, three hours later – I got out of it. I didn't have my phone. I looked at my phone. No text, no emails. No oh, like two, phone. three hours in the tub? He always does that every every day, Jay. How are you not like your skin falling off? Yes, he's pruny and wrinkly, but he's used to it and he likes it. Oh, I'm my 50. gosh. Two and to three nothing, hours. It has nothing to do with the tubs. It's called hard living. But I will say like his morning routine includes he takes a tubby with both babies. So one goes in, sits in there for about 15 minutes. I take him out, put, another, put the next one in. And that's kind of our routine in the morning. So he's in there for about a good two and a half hours. Then we hit the gym oh together. Gosh, to two and a half hours in the tub. Well, it depends. Like if it's a Mel Gibson epic flick, you know, that takes a little while to get through. But if it's, you know, a little short story, you know, that might be in there for, you know, 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> 
What is this? Okay, so yeah, we're planning. This, a tough one. this is a long one. We're planning a neighborhood outdoor Easter egg hunt with our grandchildren Saturday afternoon. A couple of the neighbors' kids stuff up September two hundred fifty eggs. Oh. What are y'all doing for Easter? I'm wondering what everybody's doing for Easter. I was wondering the same thing, honestly. Two hundred fifty plastic eggs. So our plan is so we have all the kid, all the grown babies coming over to our house for Easter brunch. We hide Easter baskets for them still. Yes, they're in their 20s, and I hide Easter baskets, which is really, really crazy, but it's what I love to do, and it's a kind of a family tradition that my mom and dad did for Amber and I and Ashley, which I love. Uh, so I think the kids look forward to that every year. So we always usually hide about five. Actually, I always usually hide a bunch of eggs for the kids, but last year we did change it up, and we hid mini bottles. How about it? How many mini bottles did we hide last year? 100? Yeah, so that was we, crazy. Giving we, away liquor. Yeah, giving away liquor to our older kids. This year, uh, Ange asked what to get with them. I said, well, let's get the liquor again, and then a box of condoms and some puree. <laughs> Oh gosh. I, feel like, I feel like they can lock in. Oh my gosh. You know, and and uh but Connor's still sitting on his for the last couple of years, so he I'm not stocking him up anymore. No, no. <laughs> Sorry, Connor, I know you're listening. But the babies, but our new babies, honey, is our second king second Easter. Yes, yes. So I'm excited for the babies. We're hiding Easter eggs for them, guys, and Easter baskets. That's Gage is asking, about. hey Angela, do you all have any projects for the motor home? And if so, what? Anything you're trying to do to the motorhome before the racing gets picked back up? Oh, you mean like, what? like pr probably. I don't uh, get it. You know, maybe like, like some for the babies. Like you guys have this nice motorhome. Everybody saw in the episode. Like, are you guys doing anything to the motorhome before racing gets picked back up? No, I don't think so. Are you know, one of, the, one of the things that bothers me about the motorhome, there is a toilet with like a hatch door in the back. You know, I feel like. There's more to be had with that whole apparatus. Mike's just know? not a fan of the motorhome. Well, uh, it's you know, a I, nice I, motorhome. I, I find it super cozy and quaint. I could literally live on it. Like I well, love the way we were living in it for being a while. Being on the motorhome would be like around the country, there's a bunch of people get sick and then they meet sick people and then they all have to be quarantined into a condo in Charlotte with their family. But that's like actually, when we do the motorhome, we actually do it on purpose. Like right now it's being pushed on us but it was the moment home i feel like you're throwing me into a quarantine situation i mean i, I think you were saying but i don't know you mean all right a couple more questions before our time's out what do you say here's teresa's got a very good point teresa how do you stay three hours in a tub that's a well, great question. i have a routine every morning you know first thing i do is i i check the guide and look for anything that that pops in my head i i quickly record and I go back, that's a library, but then I go into my menu and I go into my recordings and it, so all that activity takes about 10, 15 minutes. Then I got to pick out the bath bomb that what kind of mood I'm in that day. So Mike has a big sack of bath bombs, like these garage, like baths. So he picks favorites, whatever his mood is that morning or that time of day. He takes literally, Teresa, he takes three tubs a day. Actually, you've already Two. hit all three. No, well, you, I had three. You take it with well, us I mean, on quarantine, you take three a day. Don't lie. Well, baby, uh, you three you, tubs you, a day. Well, Angela yeah. has not been responsible during um, this whole virus, you know, so I'm just protecting whatever. myself. Yes, I have. What are you talking oh, about? Gosh. All right. Let's but go to our last it. question here from Chris. Chris says, what kind of diet is Mike on? Will you share? Because I need to lose a few pounds as well. Yeah, honey. The 21-day cleanse we're doing. We yeah. can send it to him. Well, you know, I, I don't know what, Chris, if your your um, wife at home, you got to do it in a combination of things. So what you do is you, your wife needs to feed you nothing like basically air and then try to agitate you all day long by calling you fat and an old man. So unless you have somebody to really stir the juices of this miserable diet, I just don't know that you can go on when I'm <laughs> That's not true. But I can send you like tapes, like, like sink, you know, when you hear the ocean to go to sleep, I'll just send you tapes from Angela. It'll help you lose the weight. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that. Like what a way to end the question. Oh, segment. The 21 day cleanse that Mike, I'm doing it with him so I can help motivate him. Besides this cocktail I'm drinking, I could still have a cocktail because he some things he treats well along the way. So a cocktail or two will not kill my collect I'm on. That's how I feel about it, Jay. Yeah, um, so here, here we go. Some homework before we end the show. One, okay. we're going to get a recipe from Ange from this drink that she talks about. So we'll pull that up for all the fans yeah. listening because we've already gotten some questions for how to make this drink. Two, and one of the most important things, Guess what that is? Uh, my downward dog. This. Yeah. This pose. Yeah. We are going I mean, to get this pose for all the fans. Uh, I hope you can see it. If not, go to the Facebook or the YouTube page. See the pose that Natalie and Derek do. And I let's see if uh, Mike can do it better. 
I kind of like the one they're posing with on the left better. Yeah, like, but she but, looks like she's up but, higher than Natalie. Hey, I, Jason. Well, I think that's what Natalie and Derek tried to do, and Correct. the right was the result. So, can you guys do the left? Wow. I'm telling Mike, is that's what I want. Well, I want to shoot for this pose, not that. Well, one. first off, yeah. you just called out natalie for natalie the thing she could beat natalie and what i'd like to say that i'm on two days the 21 day uh cleanse angela's been bulking up with the champagne she drink i don't believe i do that pose until i completely cleanse Honey, all i you might have shoot a hole through the door all with all that no excuses, dude. no excuses and i'm sure connor back somebody back. is taking yeah. a video because we everybody wants to see the process and then send me the picture of the final you want in a video or a picture? I'm confused. A video of you guys trying to do it because it's not okay. going to be easy. And then a picture at the end when you guys have this pose like Natalie and Derek came close to. Why don't you do it outside in a park, honey? Or well, there's a cemetery well, down here well, below. Cemetery. Cemetery's well, weird. Parks are closed. Yeah, I mean. Cemetery it is. It is. Oh, gosh. Let's not do this. I mean, <laughs> why not? Really like in a room. They, we do get a little cool little thing. Last All right. End. We got a minute left before we got to get out. Any final thoughts? Oh, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks, Natalie, for being on our podcast. We love you. We can't wait to see you at the racetrack and hopefully on the ice and racing. Um, honey? Yeah, and we'll take all the prayers from my daddy. He's sitting yeah. in, the, in the bed. and uh, We Harris love you, Park, Daddy. Yeah. We love you, Daddy. Get well. And the, actually to the whole family. Everyone yep. needs to stay Eric, safe. Eric and Mom. Tyler, Rita, yep. love Robin, we love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, thanks Jay, thanks for everything. Thanks for Natalie coming on. Have a good one. All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah. See you. When you living the good life, you living the rough life, real life. Yeah. Don't let the pretty face fool you, she can drive. Penetration and being a mom at the same time. Yeah. Mike Ruck, he a badass. Bad like a husband, a good dad. Stay lit, the rough life, real life. Yeah. Rough life, rough life.